back to gym card friends and as i know you guys love my soap making lab and my candy making lab so i'm back here with my chocolate making lab from explo and today we are going to learn how to make chalk i'm sure you guys have been wondering how chalk is made when you were small so let's find out together and guys did you know that scientists believe that the first chalk was used by apes i didn't know either comment down below if you knew so let's get into it so guys i have everything displayed and now i'm going to show you what all comes inside the box so first of all we have stickers to decorate our chalk gloves our instruction manual and this is not only our instruction manual it also shares facts and also some interesting things that we don't know then we have the silicon mold to make our chalk in then we have pop plaster of paris three toppers Two measuring beakers, three cents and three colors, a blackboard, a piece of plastic to wrap the chalk, and some chocolate, the chalking ribbon, and a plastic bowl. And I have seen your comments, and I'm sorry that I call this a messy mat, but it's not. It's actually a gifting box, so sorry for that. And now let's get into making the chalk. So, guys, in this video, I'm going to be making three types of chalks. First, I'm going to be making the plain white chalk that your teacher must have been using at school. Then we are going to make colorful chalks. There are going to be two types of colorful chalks. First is going to be the normal colorful chalks, and then we are also going to be making pastel colorful chalks. So, guys, did you see these cute silicon shapes that the Expo has provided us? There are teddies, trees, houses, arrows, hearts, pigs, chocolates, cherries, and so much more. These are so cute, and these are not like those boring stick ones. These are so cute. So guys, as I'm going to be making five chalks of um, these different varieties, so I'm going to be using half of the quantity. So you guys can make all 15 of them at one go. So to make all 15, you'll be needing two beakers of POP and one whole beaker of water. So let's get to making the white chalk. So guys, the first step will be to wear your gloves for safety. And now I have to add water, half beaker of water, and one whole beaker of POP. Make sure there are no lumps. So guys, it's been two minutes and now I've mixed my solution. Now we have to add the scents. So we have three types of scents. Strawberry, green apple and orange. So I think let's add strawberry to this one. We have to add three to five drops. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now we have to stir it. Actually, so all of the chalk has to stay. So guys, the reason I picked strawberry was because I love strawberries. The smell is so good. So guys, the next step is we have to take the mold and also this uh, spatula and 
pour it into the mold carefully. So guys, I've poured the POP mixture and water mixture into this and now we're going to let it set aside. And you also need to take care that you have a flat surface or else it will not be even. So let me clean up this mess and I'll get back. So guys, I've cleaned up and my white chalk is drying. So while that dries, we are going to be making colourful. So for that, we are going to be doing the same thing again. So right now, I'm going to be filling this speaker with some POP. I'll take a spoon of it. We have to fill it to the top, but in case you are doing the 15 one, then you will have to take two beakers of beef. But I am only doing five, so I am only taking one beaker. So there we go. And now I am going to be filling this beaker with water. One, two, three. So guys, the water is here now, but the chalk that I want is purple, but we don't have purple. But we are lucky because purple is the secondary color and we have all the primary colors. So we can make purple by mixing the primary colors. The primary colors are yellow, red and blue. So today I am going to be making purple. So for that, we will be making blue and red. If you are making a secondary color out of primary colors, then you will be needing half ml of both of the colors. But if you are using simple colors, then you can take one. So first of all, I am going to be adding my water. And now I am going to be taking my dropper. Make sure that there are no lumps in it. And you might be thinking that now it's all grey and where's the purple? But when it dries, the purple color will change. So don't worry about that. Now we have to mix this solution for two minutes. So let me mix it for two minutes and I'll be right back. So guys, I've mixed this for two minutes now. Time to add the scent. But before I do that, guys, did you know there were five types of chalks? The first was FICO chalk, hair chalk, climbing chalk, sidewalk chalk, 
and also Taylor Chop. I didn't know that. Did you? Comment down below. So guys, now I'm going to be using green apple. Let's pour that into our chop. I'm going to be putting a little less this time because this is a really strong fragrance. Mix it all in so when we write that, the chalk writing will also smell so good. So let's move on to the next step. So guys, the next step is to pour it all into the silicone mold. We have to be really careful or the batch we made last time will get all lumpy. So now let me use my spatula carefully and pour it right in. We don't want to overfill it or else it wouldn't work. And guys, also comment down below which explore lab did you like the most which I have done the chalk making lab or the soap making lab or the cat making lab and also comment down below which other lab should I do next so let me put that in oops these are so cute molds Last one is a big. There we go. And now we have to wait four hours for it to dry. So I'll put that aside when you get me. And now I'll just clean it all up and let's move on to the pasted chunks. So guys. The next job we are going to be making is pastel job. So let me tell you something about pastel colors. Pastel colors are a palette of colors that can be defined as soft, soothing and milky texture. That means that when we, when we have to make pastel colors, we add less of the color and more of the white. The ratio of the white to color in the pastel shade is generally 4 ratio of 1. That means 80% of white and 20% of color. So let's get to making the chalk. So guys, now let's make our pasted chalk. So first step is that we have to add 15 ml of water. And you can also double that if you're making 15 chalks. Now we have to take only 2 drops, only 2 drops of color. Food coloring. So I'm using yellow. And now I'm going to be taking my chopper. I'm adding only a little bit. One, two. So that's it. And I'm going to be closing the food coloring. And if you guys are wondering how I get all these facts and interesting stuff about chop. It is actually from the instruction manual. As I told you before, the instruction manual tells us more than how to make chalks. And it also tells us facts and some interesting things about chalks. So do read this if you're buying the lab. And now I have to mix. Oops. Now I have to mix the solution. So as you can see, you can't really see the orange color because we need less of the color and more of the white. So now I'm going to be adding the POP inside. I'm going to be putting a little at a time this time to make sure there are no lumps. Mix it. And we have to make sure there are no because that is really important. Mine has a lot of love, so let me mix it for two minutes and I'll be right back. So, guys, I'm mixing this, and this has no lumps now, as you can see. And I'm going to be carefully taking the chalk mold. And oh, can you see that? 
it's turning into purple. So that's a good sign. So now let's carefully, really carefully add this. And if you don't want to wait for four hours and you can't wait, they're really bored, then you can easily microwave this for two minutes straight. Because you can also microwave this because the silicon mold is uh, microwavable safe. It won't burn or anything. That's why Explore has provided it to us. So I'm just going to put this in. I'm just so shocked that this is actually turning purple. I hope this turns into a really cool yellow pastel color. And do do not go because wait till the end. I'm going to show you all of the chalks when they are dried. And at the very end of the video, there were, are going to be bloopers. So do not go before that. And now, as you can see, my chalks are drying so let's wait for four hours and then i'm going to show you how the jocks turned out and how you can pack it and give it to a friend so let's wait for four hours so guys four hours have passed and now my jocks look so good these are the white ones the purple ones and the yellow ones and at the end of the video i'm also going to be showing you how they look on a chalk so stay tuned for that. But right now I'm going to be showing you how to make these adorable packaging and you can give it to anybody you want, your friends or your family. So let's do that. So on this packaging there are some marks that you have to fold and when you do fold them, it's going to be turning out so cute and like a little box. I'll just do that for you. It should make this shape. It looks so good. And now let me pack all of some of my actually some of my jobs. And for that, you'll be needing this plastic sheet. So for wrapping these jobs, I'm going to be needing this plain plastic sheet that you're going to be getting in this set also. So I've cut them into small squares and now let's pack them and we can take these chalks out and we will take them so and now let's take this one out and guys I'm going to be gifting this to my friend Amya so first I'm going to be putting them on the sheets and we going to be wrapping the sheet around them there we go. And now I'm just going to be taking some tape from here and putting that there. And here's my little craft chalk. And now I'm going to be doing the second one, that's the white one, just like that. Then take some tape again. And oh, these look so cute. Let me take this little bear, I think. I don't know. It's an animal. So let's take the tape again and put it on. There we go. And now I can pack this in the box like this. And now I can just use a tape to secure it there. like me you can always ask a parent so I'm going to be taking that and now I'm going to be tying the ribbon on so we'll do that by magic one two three go so oh so guys this has turned so beautiful the bow is so cute and I can't wait to give this to Anish she's going to love this 
and make sure you subscribe and like and share this video with your friends because they can also see how to make chalk and how to make soap, how to make candles and this is also fun but don't forget to comment down below which explore lab do you want me to do and which one did you like the most uh, this chalk one or the candle one or the soap so I'm going to be going to give this to Anna so guys now we are going to be doing a compilation of the other two videos that we did of explore the first video that we did of explore was the soap making lab i had so much fun doing that it was so fun and the soap was so cute it was a unicorn blue sparkly soap so now you can enjoy this video <laughs> Injection here because we don't have a microwave at the studio, but you guys can use a microwave. And if you can't do that, so ask your parents for help. So the first thing that we're gonna do is take some soap paste and wear a jug glove. That's important. So as the mold is short and small, I'm only gonna use two soap pastes for this. Drop that in. Because they shrink when uh, they are heated, so let me switch that on. And now we add the color. So I'm gonna be using blue. So we are gonna take the dropper now and fill it with some food coloring and gently put it everywhere like that. Now I'm gonna be adding the glitter. So I'm gonna take a pinch of glitter. You don't have to put too much glitter because it is soap after all. So guys, as you saw, my unicorn soap is right now drying. It will take 24 hours for it to dry. So yeah, I'm going to be sharing the pictures at the end of this video. And thanks for these Explore kits. Um, these are very good. Um, as you saw, it's so good. I really like um, making this stuff and I think you should buy this. And the most thing I like about this is the stickers. I love stickers and after this is dried, I'm going to be putting this blue unicorn sticker on it because it's blue. And yeah, some stars as well and rainbows. And we all know how much I love unicorns. So yeah, I do try out and um, you can buy these anywhere at any toy show, shop and these are so, so 
interesting and there are other kits as well like my chocolate making lab and my perfume making lab and my spa making lab i have all of those and i'm going to review them in the future as well 24 hours later so guys it's been 24 hours now let's see how my soap unicorn soap turned out oh wow see this looks so cute and guys, I think I added a little too much glitter, so don't add too much glitter or it'll come out on your hands. And I, sh I really recommend to uh, buy this toy and make a soap of your own because you know how much I love you because and I think you do also. So you can buy this toy and yeah, it's very good. So guys, as you can see, now I'm going to be talking about the candle making lab. It was so fun and I really enjoyed it and I think that you should also try it if you haven't already tried it because it was so entertaining and when I made the candle it was so fun and when I lit it up it was shining like a real candle and it was so cute. So make sure you uh, try it out. Now enjoy the video. So guys, I have everything ready and laid out for making the candle. So I have the colors here and the scents are here, the beakers and we have some wooden spatulas, droppers and teaspoons. And then we also have the paraffin wax, some cotton, glitter, color, the instruction manual and also some ribbon. We also have three silicon molds and we also have a conduction and a pot. Um, it, the instructions say to use an old pot, so yes, we have to use an old pot or else it wouldn't come out. So now we have to add some paraffin packs to it, eight teaspoons. So let's do that. Let's add some teaspoons of paraffin packs. So guys, the wax has melted and now we have to add the color. I'm using blue color, so let's do this. I'm going to put some color in. going to add the scent um, I'm gonna use the orange fragrance it's what I really like so let's put some drops like that and let's switch the conduction off so we don't have to serve it so guys now we have to put the cotton in and secure it with a wooden spatula so it stays there until it dries and we have to wait for 
two hours for it to dry. I also didn't use glitter because I didn't want to and I thought it would look pretty just like this. So I didn't use that but you can use it too. It's optional. So now let's wait for it to dry. So guys, I will show you the results at the end of this video. Uh, right now we are going to wait for it to dry. I hope you guys like this video and I hope I am going to do more explore making labs in the future. So comment down below which lab